Yeah. So we really try to enable nature to do the hard work for us. You know, I, I, it's, you know, it's funny. I, um, most of my family doesn't really understand what I do. So they call me a farmer, and, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, I, I get a good chuckle out of it, but uh, you know, I tell them like, okay, call me a farmer, but make sure you get it right. I'm a lazy farmer. Yeah, right. I'm <laughs> nice. super lazy. I don't. I want to do the least amount of work possible. Cool. And so that's how we uh, sort of integrate the design system. Is how do we get the most function out of the least amount of interaction? This week on Vancouver Real, we welcome back a guest from one of our most popular episodes, permaculture specialist Ryan Hill. a basic starting point for permaculture it's a design science or um, a a design ideology it's based around three ethics which are care of the earth care of people and the return of surplus to the first two ethics so this guy bill mollison created this uh, design ideology or science however you want to relate to it and it looks at structuring our existence around the basics of what we need you know, we all need clean food, clean water, clean air. We need an environment that's resilient and able to deal with changes. Uh, and what the what we have the capacity to do now, as far as like land remediation, is amazing. We can clean up a lot of toxins out of the soil. We can rehydrate landscapes, stabilize banks, like y- you name it. It's it's really possible with nature. Well, you're- and uh, through this uh, organization, we are right now developing. Uh, demonstration sites as to the effectiveness and the utilization of permaculture for the everyday Indian. Wow. And so right now they have made a pledge to by the year 2020 turn the entire state of Uttarakhand into a chemical free organic state. So we are right at the sort of forefront of uh, transitioning an entire state into organic agriculture. In Delhi we designed a two acre site that is now actually Probably, and not probably, it's the best food production system in Delhi. Wow. They actually have uh, so much food that they can't uh, eat it all because they don't have the market for it yet. 